I wanted to check in from sober in the city, Seattle. Uh, I've been here for the past couple of days and it's been an amazing time. Um, so the first night um, I got here, I got here Wednesday night um, so that I could be here for the dinner the next day that was hosted by Elise Bryson. She is the founder of The Sober Curator, which is an amazing online publication that has amazing resources for everything um, alcohol-free. Uh, there are articles um, talking about alcohol-free um, related, you know, uh, events, travel, um, entertainment, you know, shows and movies that have to do with sobriety and recovery. Um, so anyway, she started that amazing publication. So check that out. So she hosted a dinner for us and it happened to be right in, um, right next to Pike's uh, market in downtown Seattle. Uh, the food was catered by Matt's in the market and we were inside, um, an art gallery that was founded by Mike McCready, who is from Pearl Jam. So it was really cool to be in that space, um, eating good food and to have Elise, um, you know, take care of us throughout the whole evening. It was just such a wonderful uh, event. And then after, she um, took us to go um, to the pier and we participated, or we got to do this um, flying over Washington ride. And if and if you've been to Disney and you've done Soarin' Over California, it's the, the same creator of that created this experience. And I absolutely loved it. So I'm a huge Disney fan. I love that ride, the Soarin' ride. So to see, you know, a whole different version, seeing beautiful Washington um, during that experience was really great. So I love that. And um, today I had breakfast with a bunch of the ladies. And then after I went for a nice long walk um, with one of the gals named Chris, and we just we just walked and we just kind of explored the area and we came across this beautiful park right on the bay. And it's the weather right now is absolutely perfect. By the way, it's actually for people who are you know native to Seattle, it's hot because it's been in the 80s actually, but. I don't mind it at all. Um, I love being outside and it's just, you know, been so great. Um, there's so much good food around here, which is so nice. Uh, this afternoon, there was uh, a meet and greet where um, the, the event truly kicked off. Last night was kind of a preview event, that, that dinner. Um, but today was, uh, we picked up our welcome uh, bags and we had, um, so we had a meet and greet. And then um, there was a solo social this afternoon um, that was hosted by Kindred Spirits. And they are a local um, alcohol-free bottle shop and sober bar in Richland, Washington. So if you do live in the area, um, go ahead and check them out. Um, Marlis um, came and spoke to us and and she's uh, you know attending the weekend's activity. So it was so nice to meet her and try the, the wonderful beverages that she brought and then we got to uh, meet you know people and have icebreaker conversations which was a lot of fun and then after um, Casey Davidson who has the hello someday podcast that's a very very popular awesome great podcast um, she came she did an interactive presentation um, in front of the whole group she got very vulnerable shared a lot of her story and she talked a lot about um, vision boards actually and and how important vision boards have been to her so she really inspired a lot of discussion um, amongst the group where you know we talked to the people at our table about our own uh, visions for the you know next year and goals we may have and intentions we want to set um, and then we would you know talk about those things and then come together with the big group and share uh, so that was a great, that was a really great experience. And then after that, um, this evening, we got to participate in a drum circle. Um, John Hayden, uh, he, he's from Jam Town Live. He's, he's been doing this, um, drum circles for, for years. Um, he led just an incredible experience to sit there and to hit the drum, you know, use the hands hear the music, um, just how he, he was like a, like a conductor and just the whole group, the way we all got to participate 
and make music together. Um, one of the attendees um, raised her hand at the end and said, you know, I had a, a migraine was coming on and when she gets them, they're so severe and usually she has to take medicine in order to just, um, you know, lessen the severity of it. And it's just, they're just terrible, um, she said, but hitting the drum, the migraine went away. I was like, oh my gosh, that's so amazing. And, you know, not too surprised because with, you know, when I think about the hands and movement, I think about the nervous system. So she clearly got out some, some energy and, you know, she must've got out some dysregulated energy and just moving the body, you just cleared that migraine. And I just thought, wow, that's, that's so powerful and, and just amazing. Um, and yeah, it's just been a great experience. This is my third sober in the city. Um, I've done, I went last year, I went to Portland, Maine. And then earlier this year in February, I went to Tampa. And I'm just so excited now to be in Seattle. Next year, they're going to uh, Scottsdale, Arizona. So I'm really excited about that. And yeah, it's just, it's just like I, like I always say when I jump on these lives um, during these sober in the city weekends, this is where it's at people, this alcohol free life and just getting together with other individuals who are like-minded. It's really special and it's really powerful and it's really moving and fun and just all the things. So I just love, you know, getting on and sharing and um, I've been sharing a lot in my stories and I'll continue to do that. And I will make sure to be um, writing a blog post. I, you know, I'll do my usual recap and I'll blog all about this weekend and I'll share pictures. This way, if you're interested in attending one of these events, um, you can kind of get like a true sense of what they're like. And in the meantime, if you have any questions, uh, please you know reach out to me, leave a comment, send me a message, or um, I'll also tag uh, the founders of these great events, of uh, Susie Streelman, Zero Proof Experiences, and Peggy Cooney, um, who is the author of This uh, Side of Alcohol, and she has the wonderful Facebook group, which is a very, um, a supportive uh, Facebook group um, if you're looking for that. So that's another great resource. And yeah, it's uh, just, again, this has been another just great time already. We're halfway through the weekend. We still have two more amazing days ahead of us. Tomorrow, I'm gonna be teaching a workshop uh, regarding the nervous system. I'm gonna be showing attendees um, ways to, to recognize um, the regulation, you know, dysregulation in their body and just to notice their bodies. And I'm going to give them tools so that there are things that they will be able to, we're going to practice them together. And then there'll be things that once they are done with the workshop and they go out about their lives that they'll be able to, um, to use. And, you know, when they're out and about in their life dealing, just, just dealing with life. Um, so really excited about that. And yeah, so it's going to be another great couple of days coming up and, I just wanted to jump on here and share what it's been like so far and what I'm excited about. So as always, thank you so much for watching and for taking this journey with me. Have a good night.